Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis and welcome back to another daily Q&A. Now today's question is stemming off of yesterday's video where I was giving you guys three methods to remove elevated nitrates from your rock. And uh, Jason wants to know, so if you wanted to cure your rock but also wanted to scape with that rock and that rock needs to be dry for the scape, would that affect anything with the cure? Question mark. Uh, I know the bacteria would die, but would that mean you would have, a problems, have any problems you think? And uh, Jason, thanks for your question here. Now, if you guys have seen the 300 gallon playlist, I actually um, scaped most of this rock outside of the tank just because I didn't want to take a chance of dropping it since it is 31 inches deep. And of course, I built pillars with acrylic rods and glue and all that kind of stuff. And once I placed them in the tank, I did add additional rock with glue and stuff. But again, the majority of the scaping did happen outside of the tank. Now. Also in that playlist, you'll see that I cured this rock for three months in brute trash cans. And by the way, it is Bucani. And uh, what I did is I took it out and I kind of smashed it up with a hammer to a certain extent and then just drilled holes and kind of kind of put everything together within about a 12 hour period. And at that point, I did put the rock in the tank, added tap water, then added salt water. And of course, uh, you know what from there. Now, uh, one thing that I uh, mentioned in previous videos, and I believe I mentioned in that series, is that after I added the live rock to the tank and the salt and all that kind of stuff, I went ahead and let it sit for an additional month before adding any kind of coral or really any significant amount of livestock because I wanted to make sure that the beneficial bacteria that did survive that whole process was able to build up again and repopulate the tank. Now, going back to the beginning there, if you uh, cure your rock for a appropriate amount of time, I would mean two to three months, I think is, is a good amount of time depending on the rock. But um, what's going to happen is that beneficial bacteria will go inside the rock and actually deep inside the rock and just like a deep sand bed is where that denitrifying bacteria that actually takes nitrates and breaks it down to nitrogen gas. That happens deep inside the rock. Now, uh, depending on what type of rock you have, it's man-made or pucani, you know, that's going to happen to a different extent depending on how porous it is and stuff like that. But the point is, is that deep inside that rock, the beneficial bacteria will survive and it will be able to repopulate to the surface uh, once it's in the tank and kind of has some time to do so. So with that said, feel free to aquascape your cured rock outside the tank, but I wouldn't leave it out for more than 12 hours. I mean, most of us who are aquascaping are trying to get that stuff done relatively quickly, mainly because we're impatient. We just kind of want to get the tank going. But again, don't leave it out too long. I think 12 hours is probably the max I would recommend for anybody to do that because there will be a point that it will completely dry out, uh, you know, depending on where you live, if it's already really humid or you know, vice versa, if it's really dry like Arizona, it probably will dry out even quicker. But again, uh, no, less, no more than 12 hours, I think you'll be fine. And then of course, give it some time once it's in the tank and it has an opportunity to kind of repopulate before you start you know, putting fish in there. You wanna allow that beneficial bacteria film to get back to the surface. That way you kind of re avoid any uh, issues with nuisance algae taking hold and all that kind of stuff. And of course, you have the bacteria ready to process uh, the waste from your fish so you don't have any ammonia spikes or you know, cause any damage to them. So. With that said, guys, man, it's only a three-minute video. That's all I got for you today. It's a pretty quick one. Um, don't forget, tonight we do have the live stream at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, just come on over, ask your questions. I don't think I'm going to run a sale because I'm still like 100 orders behind. And um, I probably will address a lot of the order stuff during the live stream tonight like I usually do just to kind of reassure you guys and keep you in the loop. Um, just because there is a lot of stuff coming in and I am I run this by myself, all this. All 22 printers, all the corals, everything, it's all by myself. And um, it just takes a little bit of time. Of course, I, you know, I have other things going on outside. But either way, uh, yes, that's about it guys. Sorry for the short video today. If you have any more questions or you want to be part of this series, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section or email me at fishofhex at gmail.com and you can just put in, you know, uh, live stream question or whatever, or you can put in Q and A question in the title. Either way, I will get to it and I will answer it. Okay. With that said, guys, hopefully you have a good week and I will see you later. All right. Peace.